my name is Philippa O'Brien, I'm the Curriculum Manager for Hair and Beauty. Welcome to the Collindale campus here at Barnet and Southgate College. Today I'm going to give you a tour of the Hair and Beauty Department. Hello, welcome to our hairdressing commercial salon which is on the ground floor of the Collindale campus. Here in this salon is where we train all of our hairdressing students, but particularly our level three students. This is where our clients also come to have their hair treatments. As you can see, we have individual workstations, which include mirrors, chairs, and also tables. And we also have a backwash area here in the salon. It has its own reception and one unique feature of this salon is that it has its own dispensary and that's where our students are able to mix colours and prepare products under supervision of our teachers. It's also where we invite our employers in to work closely with our students and our teaching team. We have strong links with employers from the hairdressing industry and the world of barbering. Our employers come in and visit the college and they come into the hairdressing lessons and they provide feedback. They also carry out demonstrations. This enables our teachers and our students to receive feedback and it also allows our students to ask questions about what it's like to set up a salon, run your own salon and work in those particular areas of the industry. This is the reception area which is part of our hairdressing commercial salon and is where our hairdressing clients come to book their appointments and also pay. This area is also where our students train on reception and learn reception skills. But welcome to one of our beauty therapy salons here at Barnet and Southgate College. As you can see we have a number of couches and we also have beauty therapy chairs as well for our students and clients to sit on. And we also have individual screens and these are for our clients and students to use to change. And we also here teach level two and level three beauty therapy. And our students learn a mixture of skills, for example, manicure, pedicure, waxing and facial. Now I'd like to show you our spray tan booth which is a really popular resource. It's used as part of our level two beauty therapy and level two makeup courses. Our students and our clients make use of this during the summer term especially. We also have here our facial steamers and these are used also as part of our level two and level three beauty therapy courses and makeup. And finally, we'd like to show you our shower and this is used by all of our clients and students after body treatments. Here is our makeup studio, which is situated on the third floor of the Collingdale campus, and it is part of the hair and beauty department. Here is where we teach our level two and level three makeup courses. And as you can see, it contains mirrors with lights around, worktops and stalls, and we have replicated this the same as you would find in a theater or in a television or film studio. Our students learn fashion photographic makeup, body art, camouflage makeup, basic makeup, and also beauty treatments. For example, cleansing, toning, and also spray tanning, which is a key part of training to be a makeup artist. College will just get you ready, help you to get where you wanna get and the teacher's always helpful. If you have, you know, some issues, they'll try to help you. They're very friendly towards yeah. all the students. There's no like, um, harsh and bad things they'll say to you or something like yeah. that. There might be some discipline to make you like, hurry up, you can do this, stuff like that, but that's not. To natural. motivate us, yeah. There is older people and like, everyone's more mature, so it's not like, childish behaviour, I feel like it's adult so it's kind of good for you to be set for your adult life. Yeah I get along with my tutor very well and she's like, she's on it so she knows what she's doing and like she knows everyone's weakness and their strengths and she's, if you need help with something she'd help you. And it's really good when you make friends so you're comfortable and 
the teachers made it lovely as well. I met Selassie on my interview when I had to come in and she was so lovely, says Anne. So I feel like they made it very comfortable for me. And try and make friends as early as possible and try and be approachable basically. So you have someone around you to try and help you. Because when you're alone and you're trying to get through stuff, it's going to be harder, it isn't is, it? Yeah. And when you're with someone, it's always going to be a bit easier. So try and get someone who's going to be friends with you very quickly. Just try and be approachable, talk to them, see if they like you, like them back. And then pretty much everything will go from there and you'll be fine with that one person. They'll help you throughout your journey through.